Wondering, uh, uh, Mike Vrabel mentioned earlier that um, a lot of your teammates, or at least some of your teammates, were kind of uh, telling him that you were closing in on 200 yards today and uh, kind of, you know, lobbying for you to get back in the game, and he decided to give you a chance. Uh, did, did you hear much of that, and, and how – how does that make you feel that uh, your your guys were were looking out for you and trying to get that two hundred? I uh, love my teammates. You know, uh, you know, appreciate those guys every day for what they do. You know, the unselfishness that they have. You know, for me, you know, I'm truly blessed to have the teammates, the team that I have. Um, Coach Ray was just trying to, you know, look out for me. You know, just so you know, I didn't take no extra shots. Uh, body feels good, so you know, just love my teammates. Thank you. Teresa? Derek, aside from having the 200-yard game, uh, it was your first 100-yard rushing performance in Jacksonville for a guy from Uli up the road. Uh, how nice was it to finally get uh, that kind of performance in Jacksonville? Uh, just happy to play uh, great team football. I might have to go do my job. Um, and, you know, we just wanted to play well as an offense, uh, put some drives together, uh, get in the end zone. And, and I feel like, you know, all of us as a team and, you know, as an offense, we I didn't try to do that. Jim? And, Derek, I know it's a different year. Uh, were you able to have a bigger crowd here today from your hometown, hometown or is it, uh, has it been about like normal down here? Um, yeah, you know, it's a different time now, but uh, you know, my family was here. Um, uh, I think it was, I mean, a couple, well, I can see a good bit of Titans fans. And um, it's always just good to come back home and, you know, the division opponent. So, you know, they know us, we know them. So it's always going to be uh, a game against them. Uh, and can you feel, can, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Derek. I mean, the record is what it is, but I feel like they always play hard. You know, you know I, I had a good game, but, you know, those guys always, you know, play to the whistle. Um, and, uh, you know, it's always fun coming back home and be able to play for my family. Can, can you feel a big run when it's coming? It seemed like you guys were wearing them down. Your short runs were turning into long ones, and then you're busting a long one. Can you almost feel a build up to that? Uh, I think those guys are just uh, get momentum, moving guys off the ball, uh, pushing forward. And, you know, um, I just had to go out there and get, get nothing south and, you know, um, move the power forward, uh, ball forward, and you know, get yards so we can move downfield. And I told them, told those guys, um, you know, while the game was going on and we were out, that you know, I appreciate all of them, receivers, tight ends, um, fullback, O line. You know, like I said, the unselfishness, man. I mean, for them to have, you know, that much excitement about, by the way, by the way, the game's going for me. Um, I always appreciate that. You know, they don't come around too often to have teammates like that. I love my teammates, and um, I'm, I'm happy, you know, we were able to go out there and have a good game um, as a team. Corey? Derek, you guys had a little trouble finishing to start the game, but the defense kept getting off the field quickly. How key was that for you guys on the offensive side? Uh, oh, yeah. They've been doing a great job. Um, you know, um, I think they played lights out. Um, and, you know, we just – so we stalled a couple of times. We definitely like to finish better. But, you know, like I said, defense uh, held it down. And you know, we were able to leave out here with a win. That's a, the most important thing, Just leaving here with a W. And uh, I'm glad we were able to do that as a team. Joe Rexroad. Derek, uh, late, about 10 minutes left in the game. Cameron's going to show you over by Vrabel, your arm around him, kind of having a fun conversation. Can you tell us about what you guys were talking about there? No, I'm just saying we're just going to just talk. I think I'm going to tell you the full conversation. Well, all this question was <laughs> last week. Well, all these questions was last week, man. But I'm just playing. Now, we we just talking. It wasn't nothing. It wasn't. So you weren't campaigning to go back in? No, no, we, no. we were just talking. You know, just having a conversation. But, I mean, that's that's all it was. Wasn't no more and nothing less. Nothing more to it. We were just having a conversation. A coach Real quick. And a whole conversation. Um, Sorry, Derek. Real quick follow. Obviously, team goal is number one here, but you do have a shot here at 2,000 yards. What what would that mean to hit a milestone that very few guys in this league have uh, have done? We can go 4-0. Um, these last couple of weeks, I, I'd be most happy. Like I said earlier, early this, early this week, I don't care about stats. Um, really, last week, I was really pissed off by the way I played. Like, I played poorly. And um, I didn't do my job to help my team. So, you know, still pissed off about last week. 
And I just want to do my job to help my team and, you know, do anything I can to help us win. Really, stats really don't matter. But, like, you do what you need to do to help your team win, then everything else everything else take care of itself. But just really focus on playing good team football and helping us win games. Couple more, TD. Perry? Derek, as you're pushing and moving the pile, getting yardage, you know, here and there, can you feel or anticipate that, that a big run is coming like the two you had today? I think I just, <laughs> just got asked this question, but you no, know, I'm just focused on finishing forward, man. And, you know, the hole's there, you know, hit it. And if, you know, I ever get to the end zone, get to the end zone, you know, I'm just trying to do my job the best that I can. I just got to do their job and, I just, got to, I just got to go finish it. Three more, TD. Yeah, Derek, earlier, or well, last week, uh, Coach Art, he, he said that this offense kind of goes as as you go. Can you kind of feel or are you fully aware of, of just how much this offense relies upon you? And, and does that, you know, is that something that understanding that, uh, does it make it tougher to go out each week and, and, and do what you do? Uh, not at all. I pride myself on being the leader. I pride myself on uh, being one of the guys that's able to help this team, able to, able to help the, the offense by how I play in all all aspects uh, of the game when I'm in there to get opportunities. And, you know, that that comes with it. And uh, I accept it. And I love it. And um, sometimes this game can give you adversity. Like I said, I don't mean to talk about last week, but you know, last week was a, you know, a hit in the face about oh, I need to step up, be a better leader, play better. And, um, you know, and, Whatever I got to do to help this team win, that's what I'm going to do. Alex? How you doing, Mr. Henry? Hello, Alex. You have 1,532 yards. You led last year. You're leading this year. You're probably going to win it this year. As secondary and linebackers evolve to dealing with a specimen like you, how do you stay ahead of the curve when you know they're probably going to take cheap shots or shortcuts to stop you? Uh, I think just watch film, uh, watch how they play, watch how they tackle, and then, you know, just go from there. Um, and, you know, you know, run through them, try to make a mess, get past the defenders. But I think watching films uh, with Coach Dudes and the you know, team, that really help you know, learn your opponent. Thank you. Last one, John Glennon. Hey, Derek, I think today's win um, clinches a fifth straight winning season for the Titans. Um, and obviously third under Mike, but what does that say? I know you guys have bigger goals, but but what does that say about kind of where the uh, where the franchise stands and, and from a consistency standpoint? Uh, I think we just have to keep going. Um, every every Sunday, or every game they put the jersey on. You know, I'm very appreciative to be able to live my dream, have the teammates I have because I know those guys I'm in the locker room with. You know, help. You know, help make this happen for us to be, have a, a winning season again. And, you know, I never take this for granted. Um, and uh, it's a lot of hard work. Seasons are grind. And, you know, got to keep it going a week at a time and enjoy this win right now.